Another tool that you can use to really brute force remote logins is Padator. Padator, just like Hydra, has a number of capabilities in terms of protocols. So we're going to run Padator help, and you can see the protocols that are supported by Padator here. You can see the available modules, FTP login, SSH login, Telnet login, SMTP login, and so forth. So there are a number of protocols that are available. We're going to use Padator to do an FTP login attempt. And we're going to say FTP underscore login host is going to be 192.168.86.68. And then we're going to say user equals MSF admin password equals file zero. And now we've got to tell it what the file name is. And so we're going to say rocku.txt. We're going to exclude anything that is an ignore, reset, retry. And for that, we're going to say code equals 500. And we're going to say also exclude reset where code equals 230. And then we're also going to exclude anything where the message equals login incorrect. So you can exclude things from the output. And that makes it a little bit cleaner here. We're going to run that. And what we're going to see now is the output where there have been attempts. In this case, we're getting all of them because I must have not excluded something about the login incorrect correctly. So we are getting all of the attempts here. But you can see that with Padator, you can use password lists, you can use user lists, just like you can with Hydra. With this, you can also do things like excluding particular information and determining exactly what it is that you want to see. Padator is another brute force program. That is another way that you can get in using some of these protocols. Sometimes you'll find that Hydra is a little bit better. Sometimes you'll find that Padator is a little bit better. But frankly, you could use either of them in order to do your brute force attempts using just regular user lists or password lists. And you can use multiple protocols using either Hydra or Padator.